morally um, unconscionable when you th- when you think that these uh, acts are done in the name of human rights or usually for mo- moral concerns. The, the, the main intent behind sanctions is isolating Iran and uh, radicalizing the discourse in order to justify violence. That's the main intent. Uh, first line, victims of sanctions are people. The biggest consequence for the people really is on the price side. And of course, shortages. Uh, the inflation uh, that is taking uh, bread away from P- Iranian people's uh, table is the direct impact of sanctions. Uh, you, you can call it economic terrorism uh, against uh, a nation. Uh, I think we have to consider that uh, here there is a criminal act perpetrated by the United States. The criminal act is a threat against uh, global peace, regional peace and security by breaching uh, UN uh, Security Council resolution. The sanctions had become a means toward making more money in the country. A bunch of, you know, corrupt uh, bureaucrats inserting themselves between U.S. and Iran and started making money from this animosity, from the sanctions and, and so on. To put the blame on the shoulder of um, mismanagement of uh, Iranian officials and authorities only, I think, is missing the point. Uh, embracing Iran as, uh, as a country, as a nation, like all other nations. <laughs>